Aphrodite, you covered OJ from A to Z. What's your take on this? And what's well, this third? I will say this. Number one, I was actually at the court at at the court at the trial for in Las Vegas when OJ Simpson went down. I actually was there to watch him get sentenced. Um, right. At the same time, prior to him getting sentenced, this is a man who was so um, what's the word? Not necessarily flamboyant, but um, you know, Are such you- a. a over-the-top personality that he actually um, was hitting on me in the in the hallway. Are you serious? I swear to God. Oh my! So you know he and then when he started to get nervous when the jury was deliberating, he starts to explain to me that it just so happens I know somebody he played football with, so he felt like he you know now there's a connection, and um, so he he started explaining to me I didn't hide any of my stuff. I didn't I didn't take any of my stuff and hide it. Well, I know he hid his stuff. I know all about where all his, quote, unquote, literally bodies are buried, but also all his stuff is buried. And he did. He went through, because I interviewed his manager, Mike Gilbert, who is the person that OJ expected to be in that room with the memorabilia. And Mike went right. on my show on ID and, and told the world that this man, yeah, OJ, was after his own things. But they weren't just his things. They were memorabilia that should have gone to the Goldman's. Because the Goldmans had given been given the civil, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the the libel suit, the civil judgment of thirty three million dollars or thirty million dollars. So he swore OJ that he would never give them a dime, and he made sure he never did. And that those items, I saw the items. Okay, some were photos and some were personal things, but others were footballs and signed footballs. I saw him in person. I have pictures of him. So, no, he didn't want his memorabilia to go to the Goldmans. He, and he said it on tape. We heard it in court. You know what he said? I don't want the gold diggers to get one penny out of that. This is before they went into that hotel room with the guns. So nobody heard that in the probation hearing, the parole hearing. We all heard about a man who claimed, I never really had any violence in my life. Is he kidding? And and your 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 news commentator was right on the money. There was this jovial spirit amongst the parole board. There was the guy wearing the, the NFL jersey. I mean, OJ it was being treated like the biggest celebrity in the world, of which he is one. Unfortunately, he's infamous and not famous anymore. And yet I have a fear and a feeling that he will come out and – as he said, he didn't want any attention. This is a man who lives for attention, lives for attention from the time he was 19 years old. And trust me, if somebody offers him a reality show, and I have a feeling with the ethics of reality, Mike, right, that we've seen and not seen, right? Mm-hmm. you know, we might just be seeing no question. a reality show starring Mr. Simpson, which is something, I mean, I hope not. I hope not. I mean, I th- I put him on a par with Casey Anthony, and I think that people just realize they don't want to give her anything. They just don't want to give her anything, so she hasn't been on. But, you know, in the case of O.J. Simpson, there's something so strangely magical about him, and the fact that he's going to be out walking the planet with his arrogant self and his line of BS and everything else, um, I just think naturally people are going to follow him. Naturally he's going to be on the pages of magazines. Naturally they're going to do articles about him. And eventually, I think, unfortunately, he's going to wind up in some kind of reality show situation, which, uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know. What do you guys think? 